Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to come together with you to read our decodable story called Jan at the Fair. It is written by Josh Dart, and it's illustrated by Dave Goodman. If you remember, the author of a story, and who in this story is Josh Dart, his job is to write the story. The illustrator, Dave Goodman, his job is to draw the pictures as an illustrator. We're going to look on this section together, and you're going to notice the short sound of you, if you recall, says, uh. We're going to read these words together, as well as some high-frequency words that you've already been introduced to. B, us, bus, b, ug, bug, m, ud, mud, s, ub, sub, f, on, fun, t, ub, tub, dr, um, drum, k, up, cup. And here are some of our high frequency words or sight words. The, do, said, was, what, I, have, a. And just like we always do before reading, we're going to take a little picture walk to look at the pictures and see what or who this story might be about. On the front cover of our story, we notice two characters and it looks like they're on a fun ride together. Do you guys know what ride this is? It looks almost like a merry-go-round. So if you notice the pole here, this is taking them up and down and around. It's spinning. So you can go on a ride like this at an amusement park, at a fair. Okay, it looks like she's on a ladybug. It looks like this friend might be on a pony or horse. I see a duck. And I see another friend riding the ride with them as well. Looks like they're pretty happy and having lots of fun. In this picture, you see a little girl with a backpack looking out the window. And if you look really close, you can see what looks like to be a Ferris wheel and some tents. And you could see an adult sitting near her. Could be a mom or an aunt or family friend. And it looks like she's holding a little pamphlet. And this says fair. It's talking about the fair. Could be a map of where they're going to be. Wow, look at her face here. She's super excited. I wonder what ride this is. I bet it looks really cl close if we look at it to be like a submarine, which is something that would go under down the deep ocean, a submarine. Now look at her. Now it looks like she's in a marching band. She looks like she's playing what instrument? The drums, right? And look at this friend. He looks like he might be playing a kazoo. Up oh, there's that same picture on the front cover. It looks like now she's on that merry-go-round ride having still some fun. Oh, uh, what does she look like she's doing here? When you get thirsty, where do you like to go sometimes for a drink? A water fountain, right? So maybe she just needs to take a break after all that fun and excitement she's been having. Oh my goodness, what does this word say? I bet you guys can read it with me. Mmm, ud, mud. Does it look like she might be throwing mud? I don't know. We're going to have to read and find out. Oh, now does, what does it look like she's doing? She's getting back on the bus. You guessed it, that bright yellow vehicle with the big black tires. That's her means of transportation. That's how they got to the fair. They were able to get there by taking the bus. So now we're going to go back together and we're going to look at the title one more time. If you're able to print this story out, what I need you to try to do is read with me by tracking your print from left to right. Remember, a lot of these words you're going to be able to sound out because they have the short sound of you, which says a, uh, and you're going to also know and recognize lots of words that you already know, lots of sight words. Jan at the fair. Jan sat on the bus. What will Jan do? There's that question mark. This is an asking sentence. What will Jan do? I bet you guys know just by taking that picture walk, she's going to go to the fair to have some fun. Can I get in the sub, said Jan. Jan will get in. So sub is short for submarine. This ride was the submarine ride. Remember what a submarine is, boys and girls. This is a special type of uh, vehicle that goes underwater in the deep ocean, a submarine. But this is just a pretend ride. It looks like it goes up and down. 
Jan can hit the drum. Jan will grin. You remember from our last stories we've read together, what's a grin? A grin is a smile. Jan's happy to be playing the drum. Jan can hop on the bug. Jan will have fun. What type of bug is she on? The ladybug. We'll get to see them more as spring gets on its way, right? With all the warm weather, we'll see lots of those. She's on a ladybug. She's having fun. Jan can sip. The red cup was big. So this is like her, this is a, like a big cup, but it's really being made into a water fountain. This straw is that little part where the water's coming out. And this red big cup is where she's going to stand and take a sip from the straw, that water, to get herself hydrated. Mud. Jan can drop mud in a tub. Jan will get it in. Wow, so this is a fun game. She's trying to get mud in a tub. A tub, boys and girls, if you recall, could be just something that holds uh, an object in or it can also hold water. The kind of tub that we know is when you take a bath at night, you get into the tub and you fill it with water. You could also fill it with other things. And in this case, she's filling this tub with mud. I guess that's a game she's trying to play. Jan can get on the bus. Jan had fun. So parents, what you could do before stopping this video, see if your child, if you want to pause it, can tell you one thing that Jan did at the fair and see if you can go ahead and let them reread the story to you independently. Have fun, guys, and keep reading each day for about 20 to 30 minutes and make sure that you're still keeping up on practicing those sight words. Take care.